Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me at CGB. We're brought to you today by CoolStuffInc.com. And remember to leave a comment, because the person whose comment is voted the best by last week's champion will get a chance to win a $50 gift code from CoolStuffInc.com. Last week's champion is uh, right here to my left. Ben, you won last week. Who will win this week? Stay till the end. Find out. And what are we doing today? Well. Uh, I've got a, something very special for all of you. It's one of those thanks I hate it moments here on the channel. <laughs> I'm playing something for the fans. I call this deck Yorian Fan Service because it contains many of the blue-white cards that you've come to know and love if you enjoy the channel, as well as the commander of commanders here, Yorian Sky Nomad. Three and a white blue, white blue for a companion that doesn't matter in Commander, because this is not my companion no longer. No, no, no. He's my commander. And it's a four or five flyer. When it enters the battlefield, I can exile any number of non-land permanents I own and control and return them to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So the worst possible thing I can do to all of you is I can get these cards that blink Yorian and Yorian can blink these cards. See, I've got my playmat here. I've got my, I'm blinged out. I've got my Charming Prince chain. I got my Resto earrings and my Flicker Wisp earring. <laughs> and uh, any of these, if I have this on the battlefield with Yorian, I can kind of loop so that on every end step, I'm either returning to Yorian or all my other permanents to the battlefield because I just target them off each other. So if I have a card that like draws a card when it comes into play, like a Fipple Thib the Lost or a Golden Egg, I'm just drawing another card every time. If I have Elspeth Conquers Death, that can exile permanents. I'm exiling a permanent every time. If I have an Agent of Treachery that takes oh, control of just oh. whatever I want to, it's doing that every time. So you don't want to let this happen. It gets, a little, it gets a little long in the tooth. I don't have like an instant win con, like an approach of the Second Sun, because Let's face it, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. <laughs> and I'm not in a hurry for it to end. So the worst possible thing I can kind of do to you is play this deck today. So Ben, what did you bring with you and what is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? So I brought Kinner, Kin, Kinner, <laughs> Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. Uh, he is a, just Simic, two drop. Uh, whenever I tap a non-land permanent for mana, I may add one additional mana of any type that permanent could produce. And for Simic and five, a total of seven, I can look at the top five cards and put a non-human creature card onto the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. So obviously I have a lot of, a decent amount of mana rocks and ma mana dorks. Um, I have my, the worst thing I could probably do is use my Basalt Monolith to tap it for three, or for four if Kinnon's out. And then untap it for three, so I produce infinite colorless mana. And then I could use Sue's saying here to just pretty much stack my whole deck. It's like scroll rack, but it's with my whole deck, so even better. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I just, other than that, I can just play a bunch of big stinky creatures. So <laughs> with infinite colorless mana, you don't have a way to like fireball us. You don't have like a stroke of genius to make us draw our libraries. You're like, you, We'll just stack your deck over and over. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. That is, that, that, that's that's really the worst possible. Yes, <laughs> I, I thought I liked torturing my opponents. <laughs> no. Okay, awesome, Blake. What do you got? What is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us this week? Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived because I am here. Today I'm playing a deck that's themed off of the anime uh, My Hero Academia, and it's themed after All Might, who is my favorite character. And so this is got Rafik of the Many. So this is a 3-3 with Exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains double strike until end of turn. So it is themed after him being the, the one for all. So he's the only one who's attacking for everybody else. So there's a lot of Exalted creatures, some enchantments, etc. The worst thing I can do, it's a pretty, it's a fun deck. It's not a, it's not a super, uh, competitive deck, but the worst thing I can do is play finest, finest, finest Hour, which is an enchantment that has Exalted, and whenever a creature you control attacks alone, if it's the first combat phase this turn, untap it and have another combat phase. So I'm mostly going to be focused on making references and just doing fun things. 
and I look forward to it. So if you attack with Finest Hour with your commander on the battlefield, are you going to yell it? Oh, yeah. You're going to... Oh, gonna... I'm going to yell out. I'm going to Detroit smash you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, Shay, you're back. You love the tribes. Mm -hmm. You seem to love the green tribes. Yes. You brought a fan favorite tribe. Tell us about your commander and the worst possible thing you're going to do this week. Yeah, so this week I have a Golgari Elves tribal deck, um, which I'm very excited about. And I've got Lathril, Blade of the Elves as the commander. Two colorless and a black and a green. Um, it has Menace. Whenever Lathril, Blade of the Elves deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. And then also it has a tap ability. Tap 10 untapped elves you control. Each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. So the worst possible thing this deck can do, um, and actually first let me say, these are not cute, friendly elves. These are evil, like I'm, I'm coming to like stab you secretly, you know, like these are, these are pretty. These are angel shanking elves. Yeah, exactly. Dark <laughs> elves. Yeah. They are dark yeah. elves. Wow. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Do they hiss? <laughs> there might, yeah, so there might hard. be some elves in here that are doing some hissing because okay. they're just, they're just that kind of The elf. comments love the hiss. <laughs> they want the hiss to continue. <laughs> yeah, so there might be, there might be some hissing. Um, we'll see. But so uh, in the lineup of terror, I guess, um, first we've got doubling season. So this is a five drop. It's an enchantment. Uh, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. If an effect would put one or more counters on a permanent you control, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. So really this is just allowing me to get the most um, out of my commander and really multiplying the number of elves on the board. Um, pair that with a Crater Hoof Behemoth. Um, Haste. When Crater Hoof Behemoth enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. I feel like we're all getting coarse in Crater Hoof <laughs> on a regular basis. Yeah. So, yep, got it, got it. Lots yes. of damage. Yep. Yes, and to kind of round out the line of terror, we have Triumph of the Hordes, which is really just like the cherry on top. Um, so it's a sorcery until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample and... Infect. Do not eat the cherry on top because it's yeah. poison. Yeah. Don't it's eat poisonous. that cherry. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah, this yeah. is so. I yeah. can't wait to kill her first. I'm mm. sorry. What <laughs> yeah, dangerous and deadly elves. Okay, that is a kind of an arch, you know, one of the arch nemesi along with goblins for yes. blue white players. So this will be fun. You guys ready to shuffle up? And uh, we're going to do this. Let's, Let's do dive it. in. Let the nonsense begin. Oh. All right, we've drawn our hands. Let's roll. See who goes first. I got a five. Four. I got a five. Oh, wow. You okay. and me. CGB win. I don't want to go last. Six. I got a five. Okay. Shay wins. Woo! Bummer, Blake. You're going last. Woo! Nerfed early. Okay. Nerfed early. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Command tower pass. Okay. I'm going to play command tower. Huh? And Mana Vault. Ooh. And oh. I can tap that for three. I have to pay four to untap it. Or I could just blink it with Yori and your turn. <laughs> mm. So I, was, I will draw. I was going to say I was going to do Shay's. Shay's one upped by. <laughs> I was going to say I would one up her as well, but I can't one up a Mana Vault. I will play Command Tower and tap it for a soul ring. Oh no. What is going on? Blake, command tower. <laughs> yeah. Command tower. Come on, Blake. One time. Or we all command have, tower. Or we <laughs> all have to attack him. <laughs> or we all have to. You have to be one of us or Those we're all going to destroy you. Oh, that's not Misty a command Misty rainforest. Tower. I will sack it and grab a breeding pool tap to pass my turn. Okay. Swamp. Um, tapping my command tower for Lanawar elves. I'm going to assume you drew that this turn. Sure did. <laughs> uh, then I will pass. That classic art on the Atlanta War so, Elf, too. Mm, that's so pretty beautiful. cool. Mm -mm. Huh. All this mana. What does one do with it? All this mana. Pass with it. I'm, <laughs> I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like me. That's true. That doesn't sound like me at all. 
But you know what? I'm going to play a tapped hollowed fountain and pass, actually. Oh, snap. Yeah. I will untap. Draw the card. I'll play a vivid grove. Which enters tap, and I put two charge counters on it. And it taps for a forest, or I can tap and remove a charge counter and add one mana of any color. Guys, are we scared of that mana vault? What? <laughs> Kinda. Kinda? There's, I mean, not really. There's definitely yeah, scarier stuff to play. Not yet. Okay. But p put the fear in them, though. Get them <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. Guys, do we... Do we have a promise already? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I okay. do now. <laughs> just checking. I, I'm starting to get one. <laughs> just checking, just checking. I'm getting, the, I'm getting these little tingles. <laughs> yeah, for real. I will play a planes and I will cast lightning greaves. Oh snap. Pass the turn. Wirewood Lodge. And then gonna tap four to cast Lathrol, Blade of the Elves. Oh man, this early, you're probably gonna make some elves with that. Yeah, I guess, I'm gonna guess so. I'll pass the turn. Okay, I feel like, I feel like there's tension already, like everybody's <laughs> gonna watch for like a big scary permanent. I mean, we're all set up to do, well, three people are set up to do big scary things. <laughs> hey, you got I'm gonna have to Detroit crowd. smash some people though. I, I mean, that's a really good card yeah, to have a Lightning Greaves on. Yeah, that's a very, very that. good card. Your commander is a really good card for Lightning Greaves. All right, I'm going to play this Tundra. I'm going to cast Soul Ring. Okay. <laughs> you got a problem with that Soul Ring? <laughs> yeah, I have a bigger problem with the Mana Vault. All right. At least the Mana Vault damage. Do you have a problem with a Ristic Study? Oh, Whenever yeah. an opponent casts a spell, they draw a card unless you pay one who's ready to pay their taxes. Mm. It is tax season. Oh, I just got my tax return, actually. Okay. <laughs> and then I am done. At your end step, I'm going to tap a green and two and beast within Ristic Study. Oh, are you going to pay card. the one? <laughs> Perfect. I will sacrifice the draw a card okay. for... So, so this trigger goes first. So let me just let me just see this card, okay? Okay, okay. 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 It resolves. Ah, <laughs> well, yes. at least at least I brought a beast token for that you. That is a peasant beast token. Oh, oh wow! Oh, Doesn't even want the beast token. Rejected. Even though Blake didn't bring you one in one of those games. Yeah, still okay. holding that against wow. him. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> cool, still, cool. Still Bringing it back. That. But I got a foil one right oh, here. Oh yeah. So we're gonna use Dang, that. Dang, dude. Bougie. I'm yeah, done. He got so. kicked off the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, untap. Draw four turns. I'm gonna play a forest. Tap a green and a green and do three visits. Search your library for a forest card, put that card onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. Forest <laughs> it is. Forest <laughs> oh, rest it is. Ooh. And it enters on tap. It does. No breeding pool. Mm. Ben. 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 How many how many commander decks do you have? Uh like more than fourteen yeah. that more are than, done. More than many. And then I have like Three in the works, and also three I need to Ben, add. we've talked about <laughs> optimizing for camera so people don't get the impression that you don't own any cards. I own a lot of cards. They're just split. They're, just, They're spread out. I just don't spend much money on lands for some reason. <laughs> but you have a breeding lands pool, Lands are right? important. I do have a breeding pool, yeah. Okay. Um, I will tap the forest and the command tower for an island, and I will play Kinnon. Resolves for me. Cool with me? Mm -hmm. No, my lightning greaves won't do much to it, so. And I am done. Mm -hmm. All right. Play a forest, and I will cast Ardent Plea. This is an enchantment with Exalted and Cascade. What? I'll go ahead and Cascade. Is that all that does? That's all it does. That's all it does. <laughs> That's all it does. I'm going to hope to not hit an aura. That is a weird Hoop. card. Hoop. I actually have nothing that costs two or less in my deck. <laughs> no! Oh, but you do. Hold on. Lean back. Let the people oh, see. Sorry, I was reading Art and Plea. It was Pact of Negation. <laughs> oh. Would you like to cast it? You could target your own Art and Plea because it's still on the stack. When you remove cards. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm not going to cast a back of negation. It's one way to lose the game. It is a quick, a quick out to go home. I will uh, fail to. Oh wait, do you shuffle? No, no you don't. No, you don't. No, yeah, you don't. I caught it. He's so way. tilted. Oh, oh no. good recovery. I'm so sad. Oh. Good recovery. <laughs> we'll just randomize the order. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid pact of negation. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna pass my stupid turn. In anime terms, you just turn white and you've got the lines yeah. and the <laughs> symbols over your head. <laughs> oh boy. That was tragic. Thanks, Shay. <laughs> Shay has feelings. We're just laughing at him. Yeah. Here. That was pretty rough. Tapping four for parallel lives. Oh, That's goodness. a doubling season, but not a doubling season. Correct. It's, it's half a doubling season. Yes. <laughs> Just a dub. Yeah. Sure. Yep. So if an effect would put one or more tokens onto the battlefield under your control, it puts twice that many of those tokens onto the battlefield instead. Serious card. Serious card. Shade's doing scary, guys. Yeah. Ah, just wait till my turn. Elves are a little spooky. Uh, I will swing two menace at CGB. <sighs> you got me. So. Elf time. Elf time. How many elves do you get? I get four elves. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. Yeah. I better create my own tokens next turn. Pass the turn. Foreshadowing. All right. My turn. What are we going to do? Shay is already on a warpath. <laughs> I'm feeling evil. Shay is, this is your villain arc. <laughs> this show has been your villain arc. <laughs> <laughs> Just so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play this Flooded Strand. I'm going to sacrifice it, and I'm going to search for a plains or island while I think about what I'm going to do and how I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get out of this by going plus ultra. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get it in there. I'm going to be making lots of reference, guys. Just get used yeah, to it. He's, he's going to get out of this by not being threatening at all. <laughs> That's <right>. rough. <laughs> See, you got, everyone kept saying that I need to not be so, so powerful hey, early. Yeah. I decided instead of just making it early, I'm just not going to be powerful the whole game. <laughs> His arc go. is going to be to become a full beta. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's grounds for getting attacked. <laughs> oh, what you going to do, Blake? You're going to take someone out? Is that what you're going to do? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. See, I'm just trying to rev him up. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll get the full text island for <laughs> just tilting effect. Could you read that out, actually? I need to know. You, you need me to read this? I, I value my viewer's time. That's I got fair. this. I, I didn't get this far on YouTube by reading like superfluous <laughs> and amounts of stuff. <laughs> That's okay. Fair. That's fair. Maybe in the maybe in the outro, I'll read this for some people. Please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly me. Thank you. Mainly me. <laughs> But mostly me. Nice reference. Thank you. <laughs> that was a Book of Mormon reference. I'm going to tap my mana vault for three, and four, five, and six, because I need white, and then one more. So I guess the soul ring's going unused, but it has to be three white, so this is the only way I can do it. We're going to cast Angel of Serenity. This is a flying 5-6 angel. When it enters the battlefield, I may exile up to three other target creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards. When Angel of Serenity leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to their owner's hands. So I'm going to target your commander and your commander, and I'm going to target, unless, well, I don't, I don't have to target your commander, but... That is so evil. Yeah, I'm still going to target commander and commander. They can send them to the command zone if yeah, they want. Yeah. It's just a setback. That's true. Until that leaves the battlefield. And I'll also target your elf, your Lanoir elf. I want that too. Until this leaves the battlefield, yeah. But yeah, you can choose to send it back to the command zone. So, um, hmm. Ben, would you like to choose command zone or exiled by Angel of Serenity? I will choose Command Zone. How about you, Shay? I will choose Command Zone. And this beautiful original art, Anderson Maddox Elf, comes with me. <laughs> and if don't do anything or the elf gets it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Yeah. I will untap my lamb. She's got him held at feather point. 
<laughs> I'm a draw a card. She got a sword, okay? Mm. Or that's not even a sword. I don't know what that is. That's like a mace or something. Oh. And a sword. Like she, she, she wielding over there? Oh yeah. I'll play a forest oh, return. I'm sorry. I will have to make some tokens because of those elves are scary. So I'm gonna For do it elves. the best way possible. <laughs> okay. Not the worst way. Yeah. Well, right. Of, yeah. Okay. I'll have three forests, my soul ring. Remove a counter for a blue, and tap my command tower for a blue to cast Coma, Cosmos Serpent. Okay. Mm. This game is this, this game is, is top. Hey guys, the top I'm here just having fun. Run. <laughs> just playing a fun and deck, I will, guys. And I will pass my turn. Just wait for my arc where I win this fight. At your upkeep, I will make a Coma Coil. Can I draw my wait, wait, stupid? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Perfect. I guess I'm doing the hissing. This, hissing. This game. All right. I, oh. I don't know if serpents hiss. But I, it, it's <laughs> a serpent. I mean, like, if a snake hisses a serpent, yeah, okay. no, it's like for a sure. Is it a deep hiss? Like hissing. No, <laughs> wait, no, none, none of us can demonic. do that. If anybody hiss. can deep hiss, <laughs> if anybody can deep hiss, it's you. Oh, yeah. Truly. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I will play. If I may, my island for turn. Yeah, no problem. Well. Let's get, for I am here. I will then move to equip lightning griefs. Yep. It happens. Mm -hmm. And I will attack Shay. Trigger uh, exalted off Arden Plea. Trigger exalted off of Rafik of the Many. He is now a 5-5 double strike. Gross. Okay. I will block with an L. Yep. That makes sense. <laughs> yep, <laughs> sure does. That tracks. Okay. <laughs> he, he just the elf gets obliterated. <laughs> yes. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's one dead elf. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Tainted wood. Yeah, we'll tap four for a wire wood channeler. Tap to add X mana of any one color, where X is the number of elves on the battlefield. Oh goodness. That's a lot of mana. Yes. Before I pass the turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I made a coma coil on your upkeep. Okay. I was actually just going to ask yeah. if I could read Oh yeah. coma. So you can't? Okay. I'm forgetting all of the abilities. Uh, this spell can't be countered. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 3-3 blue serpent creature token named Coma's Coil. Sacrifice another serpent. Choose one. Tap target permanent. Its activated abilities can't be activated this turn. Coma, Cosmo Serpent, gains indestructible until end of turn. It's a heck of a snake. It is a, it is, it is a scary it is a little snake. snake. Yeah. I am going to pass the turn. Would you say a solid snake? Wrong yeah, anime. I would, yeah, I would say. <laughs> Come on. It is All a right, solid snake. True. It's not a liquid snake. That's no. Take one. <laughs> it's even like a video game, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. So, trying to find coma solutions here. No, I do. I do. I need to. Oh, and I made another one. Yes, you did. Thank Started you. Started calling you on those tricks. Yeah, jeez. It's <laughs> not right. a May ability. No, I'm just <laughs> For the people in the back, Yurian. Wow. Yep, that's how we do it. So, I'm going to cast my commander, enters the battlefield. Yes. The sky noodle is fine. great. Yep. All right, trigger. I'm going to exile Angel of Serenity. I'm going to exile Mana Vault, and I'm going to exile Soul Ring. You get back Lanoir Elves. Yay! All right. For a very short period of time, Shay, I'm sure. Then I move to end step. Oh Yorian triggers, returns untapped Soul Ring, untapped Mana Vault, and Angel of Serenity. So when this enters the battlefield, exile up to three target creatures. Hmm. I'm going to choose Coma, the Cosmos Oh, Serpent. who would I guess? I'm also going to target the Wirewood Channeler, because mm. that's a lot of mana. And I'm also going to target one of your coils, Ben. Okay, in response, I will sack the coil you're targeting and tap your mana vault. Of course. It's a permanent? I thought it was a creature. Yeah, it's, it's a permanent. permanent. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. That resolves. Right. Tapped mana vault. Come here, snake. Yeah, I'm going to mm. get you too. Maybe I should have kept that, uh, that uh, beast with me. <laughs> 
I mean, if you didn't get rid of the Ristic study, I think yeah, I, you'd have a lot. <laughs> I don't think you'd like that. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's your turn, Ben. Right. Yep, that's right. Ben, you make a coma call. Oh, oh no! You're so nice, Blake. Jeez. <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm still trolling yeah, you, brutal. Right. You're on his side of this table, like this half. Table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also on Shay's side Smooth. by that logic. <laughs> Cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not. You're just not on CGB's side. <laughs> Math checks out. I'll play a Lumbering Falls tap. So it can turn into a three-three green and blue elemental creature token with hex brief until end of turn, and it's still a land. Or it taps for a green or a blue. I'll tap two forests to play an arcane signet. I will tap green, 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 and two to play Garuk Primal Hunter. A regular appearance on the show. Yeah. A well-loved card. Indeed. Does it resolve? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. We're cool. Uh, plus one is make a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Minus three is draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. And minus six is create a 6-6 six, six green worm creature token for each land you control. I don't know if you know this, Ben, but my pack mitigation's on the bottom of my deck. Oh, I do. It's not in my hands, so yeah, you don't need to worry that about a, that. That was a bummer. That was a real bummer. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all very sad that you don't get to win this week with a Pact of Negation <laughs> Protected Living Death. <laughs> Sounds good to me, though. I like that. This is a good play. So I'm going to plus Garuk to a four and make a beast token, which is apparently not, uh, you know, Gucci or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's not up to... <laughs> what? It's, I mean, it's not blinging, you know? It's, it's not, not blinging, it's, yeah. it's a peasant yeah. beast token. Of all the words that were about to come out of Ben's mouth, Gucci was so low on that list, dude. Yeah. I couldn't remember what Shay said last. Bougie. 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 Right. That's close, you know? <laughs> and in she, so... I'm going to swing one coma at Shay and one coma at Blake. I'll take three. I will take three. And then I'll pass. I'll start by playing a Yavamaya Coast. I will tap two for a Mind Stone. I will play Kwasali Pride Mage. He can um, be a hero too. Yes, he can. <laughs> he is a 2-2 two -two with Exalted. I can pay one and sacrifice him to destroy target artifact or enchantment. I will then attempt to equip Lightning Greaves to Kwasali Pride Mage. Resolved. And then I then I will cast Crab Umbra on Rafik of the Many. This is an enchantment that has two and a blue untap enchanted creature, and it's got totem armor, so if the enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage and destroy this aura. So it's like a nice little line of defense. Any responses? None from Nope. Me. Perfect. I will then move to equip Lightning Greaves <laughs> back onto Rafik of the Many where it belongs. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, Quasali Prime, mate. you're not the hero. He's not. <laughs> I will attack Garuk Primal really? Hunter with Rafik of the Many. The Planeswalker hate is strong. It's plus one, plus one, three times, so it's a 6 6 double striker. And that beast is about to get <laughs> obliterated. I mean, it's going to die from the angel regardless. Yeah, Garuk's going to take it. Cool. He's, he's a dead planeswalker. See you, bro. Good. I will then pass my turn. I will start by playing a swamp. Nice. Good play, good play. <laughs> you should coach. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, I will pay six for Lathral. Scary, scary. Mm-hmm. Then I will pass the turn. My turn, upkeep, mana vault. I'm going to take one and draw for turn. 35 more turns, guys. Yeah, <laughs> the countdown is on. We'll go white and another white for Knight of the White Orchid. This is a 2-2 first striker. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than me, I have five, you guys have more, uh, then I get to search my library for a planes, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. All right, untapped prairie stream, since I can get a planes, including a non-basic planes. Then we're going to shuffle like a normal human being. Totally normal. Totally not, normal. Not an animal. No big deal at all. Beaver. <laughs> I... <sighs> it's actually not that weird. I, it just that comment was yeah. so good. Yeah. Was it? If it you was have more good. animals to compare a shuffling to, 
Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you. Here we see the covert go blue in its natural habitat. <laughs> the moving go cards beaver. back and forth, over and gaining tiny bits of incremental value off of small cards. It's a wonder to be old. Planning to blink them later with Yori and setting up for max possible damage. Drawing and drawing as he, see, he sees fit. Hopefully we'll see Ben attempt to scroll rack over and over again. <laughs> to no avail. <laughs> I mean, I saw what happened to Garrick, so I can't wait to see what happens to Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. <laughs> the CGV fans are singing. The plus one draws a card at the beginning of the end step. Untap two lands, minus three. Put target non-land permanent into its owner's library, third from the top, minus eight. Emblem, whenever I draw a card, exile target permanent on opponent Whoa. controls. Gross. I probably won't do that. Yeah, you always say that. Probably. Yeah, I've heard this before. They're usually right, actually, though. That's true. He doesn't do it often, but it's happened. Plus one. Oh, God. I have to do it. All right. I'm going to pay three life for a sh Emeria Shattered Skyclave. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> and I'm going to tap two for the thing I just had to do. Spirited Companion, Enchantment Creature Dog. Oh, yep, whenever it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. And now I could attack somebody, but I'm just going to have all hands on deck around Teferi because that's what a blue mage should do. And I'm going to untap two lands on my end step with the Teferi trigger, and it's your turn, Ben. Of course, it was the Tundra. <laughs> of course it's the Tundra. I will untap my permanent. <laughs> I like how he said that. <laughs> permanent. <laughs> Ooh, I like that card. Don't try to free your coma. I, it doesn't do that, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Tapping four and getting Kinnon back out. That We've solved. been here before. Then. It's because we're going in circles, Sam. <laughs> Oh, we have to flam the spread. Where were these jokes when we were casting cyclonic riffs over and over? Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be all might today, actually. Ha 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 ha! I'll play Nadir Kraken. Oh! Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a 1 1 counter on Nadir Kraken and create a 1 1 blue tentacle creature token. Tentacle creatures, you say? Yes. Different kind of anime Different on this side. Different type of anime, <laughs> yep, yeah. uh-huh. We got That's coils insane. and tentacles. Yep, yep. <laughs> Wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I was thinking and beasts, too, of right? course, too. You are you are like a kraken, like serpent, kraken, like leviathan deck, yeah. right? You've yeah. got the sub-theme. I, I don't really have any octopi, octopuses. Octopi, you got it right, bro. Don't back <laughs> oh, <to> it, right? <laughs> I feel like that Teferi is a huge problem, guys. I would agree. All it does is plus oh, <laughs> and draw a few cards. Teferi oh, never hurt anyone. Never hurt anyone. Teferi never did hurt nothing anyone. wrong? No, nothing wrong. Oh, I mean, maybe exile wrong. the whole like, continent, but he regrets it. <laughs> did he, he do regrets that? He, yeah, he like sealed away, Zar he like lost Zarfur to beat the Phyrexians. Yeah, his whole family was in there. As well. like his dude, wife. Yeah. dude, his wife was in there. Yeah, it's really sad. I should Holy really look at the His story's really lore. sad. Yeah, that is you sad. Should, you should let him live. Right. Uh, well, well right. you want to hear my tragic peck story? No. Okay. Like, because I don't think your enchantment <laughs> is that scary, what other enchantment slash artifacts is missing? Is it the Man of Vault, the Parallel Lives? Ooh. Parallel Lives is quite spooky. But it's I not... don't think the dog needs to die. No, I don't think so <laughs> either. Just, just <laughs> yoink the dog, bro. Yeah, right. um, probably the Parallel Lives. She can go off pretty really? grossly with that. But like, what if we like sided with, with her? Work with her? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you asked me what the scariest artifact or enchantment okay, on the sure, board sure. is. That's the scariest one. Mm. If not that, then uh, Sol Ring or Mana Vault. But those are both, those pale in comparison right, in terms of sure. targets. Um. I'll go to combat. I will swing. <laughs> or maybe I should just hold them up. Yeah, I'll hold them up. All, right. All set? You may go, Blake. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Sungrass Prairie. I will attempt to move Lightning Greaves to the Quasali Pride Mage. I wonder why. <laughs> I will cast Curiosity, targeting Rafik of the Many. Uh, whenever Enchanted Creature deals damage to an opponent, I may draw a card. <laughs> Okay. 
So far, so good. <laughs> There's a lot worse things happening when he deals damage with that thing to an opponent than drawing a card. I would agree. <laughs> now, I tried to trick you into spending your enchantment removal. Yeah, well, you, it didn't work. So. <laughs> <laughs> Crisali Prime Mage is going to kill your soul ring. <gasps> what? How does he do that? You sack him? And it just blows up a soul ring? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can float the mana this phase. Yep. I don't know. Curiosity, huh? Why do you want that card so bad? Because I need some card draw this time. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, you have one card just like me. Okay. I'll tap this for green. Tap the soul ring for three, but one will lose its effect. I'm going to cross and grip the crab umbra. Huh. Okay. The crab umbra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't Perfect. know what's happening. <laughs> The crab them. You do you are you like trying to establish sea creature dominance? Indeed. <laughs> That's I'm exactly. To, That's exactly. I'm about to play my trap card. <laughs> Your trap card. This I'm is cast a Yu-Gi-Oh. Spirit mantle. Enchanted oh. creature gets plus one plus one and protection from creatures. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, you got to get your counter spell. Yeah, that's gross. It had to happen. Mana drain. Ooh, that's a. <sighs> but it had to happen. <laughs> it had to happen. Two mana for a mana drain. It's not too good, but it's. It's worth it. I will Ooh. pay two mana and sacrifice Mind Stone to draw a card. Okay. Hopefully One mana a... to sacrifice Mind Stone oh. and draw a card? Nope, two mana because of the way I tap my mana. Oh. Doesn't matter either way. To have really. one floating. So what's yep. floating? Uh, we'll have a white floating. Okay. Huh. Mana Tithe. Stupid game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Then re-equip Lightning Greaves and fail to Detroit Smash anybody. Pass turn. <laughs> I feel targeted for the weakest deck on the table. Get you, my stuff counter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up. You initiated all that action by targeting the Soul Ring. Not which yours. Is dead, by which the way. is still dead. Oh, which right. Is still yeah. I know. It wasn't even your thing. I know, but it did start the it did start the avalanche. Hmm. This is all questionable. <laughs> I'm wondering if that Crows and Grip not hitting parallel lives is going to come back. Yeah, I was surprised we didn't trade. I was yeah. surprised you didn't go for it, man. I, I mean, we got she's to, not know. scary right now, but that's not yeah, parallel but, lives stuff. Let's look at hold look on. CG. We're gonna see. Okay, tapping three for Zuri Renegade Leader. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh <-huh. laughs> that is uh, a bit of a card. Uh, yeah, so I can uh, pay green, regenerate another target elf. Um, I can also pay two and three green. Elf creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample until end of turn. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Overrun <laughs> on a stick. Yeah. We'll pay one um, for skull. Oh, elf. okay. God. Okay. Jeez. Raptor clicking intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Swamp to equip Skull Clamp to my commander. And then moving to combat. Um, only got one creature over there, mister. <laughs> I will sling, swing Lath Roll and Keep kicking me blink. while I'm down, it's fine. <laughs> Three. Three. Yep. Excellent. Now we'll create six elves. Six more elves. Six more elves. Wow. Total of nine. Total of nine. Not 63. Not 63. <laughs> yeah, we don't. I can fetch a bigger die later. But um, that shall conclude the turn. Okay. All right. Two mana held up. Hmm. Hmm. She's scaring me, guys. <laughs> Can't lie. I'm going to take one from Mana Vault. Going to draw. Add two to Mana Pool from Mana Drain. I got to find some answers here. You do? Uh, we do. Okay. This is going to get bad. <laughs> yeah. Blake really does. <laughs> I mean, well, Blake... I'm out of this game. <laughs> uh, Blake's an unblockable effect away from being in the game. Yeah, that's true. Like, like it's not, it's not over. Technically, I'm a creature and an unblockable yeah, effect. Yeah, true. 
The lightning green. Yeah, yeah. You did sacrifice that Quasali thingy yourself. <laughs> I know. Just a blow. All right. Muscle. All right. Um, I'm going to play Minamo the School yeah, at Water's that's Edge. That's I'm going to Sphinx's Revelation for nine. So I'm going to gain nine life and draw nine cards, and I'm going to make Blake so jealous he might he might scoop. We're going <laughs> to stay here, Blake. Stay stay with us. It's a close call. Back up to 40 turns with the Mana Vault guys. <laughs> One, right. two, three, oh, three, four, Guys, five, I definitely think six. I brought the wrong deck to this party. Dude, Sphinx's Revelation is one of my all-time favorite card. magic cards. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Played it in standard back in Absolutely the day. love this card. All right, I got a sweet hand. But I need some mana to do some of the things I want to do. So I'm going to plus to fairy to draw. These elves, man. These Need some mana to do stuff, just Sphinx's Rev for nine. These elves. <laughs> well, I, I have to make it through what might be a very dangerous elf turn. There are nine of them, and this can overrun everything. I have this weird feeling if I attack Shay with the angel, something bad is going to happen to it. <laughs> so I'm trying not to provoke her be, so that she doesn't give, because the sooner she gives Ben back the coma, the sooner like we're all, like <laughs> it, it gets a lot worse. So I'd rather her wait till Blake's end step to try to target this, but we'll see what she does. Um, but I gotta fight these elves somehow. I, I think I better just hold back so an alpha strike isn't very good. So I'm going to try to move to end step and put Teferi's trigger on the stack. Good for me. Mm -hmm. Untap two lands. Yep. And then discard some cards. <laughs> oh yeah, Darn, drawing nine is not as good when you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I just assume he always has a max hand. Right. Max hand. Yeah. So you, you would hope. You would hope. But this time yeah, I, I came up hope, actually. a little short. <laughs> I would not hope. No, geez, you're, you're so vindictive. I'm going to discard these beautiful lands, and this is Zoria's signet. Oh. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. I will untap. Draw a card. While I draw that card, I will trigger Nadir Kraken and pay one. Forest to put a 1 1 counter on him and, and make, make a tentacle. tentacle. <laughs> I think I might fight CGB for some of that card draw he just did because I got one bad card in my hand. You want to anime battle me? Oh, yes. Blake would like to fight to the death. He wants my <laughs> card draw, but I am not prepared to give it up. <laughs> oh my God. This card allows me to draw two extra cards from my deck. Hold on. Go. Let's have a flashback and re recount <laughs> when we first met. Should and we all the talk about our backstories. I met CGB on a rainy night six months ago. I'm the last of my clan. My entire family was destroyed. I'm on a vengeance arc, and you're annoying. <laughs> you're annoying. My backstory is I'm annoying. And, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Wow. Oh, um, how many cards do you have in your hand? One. How much mana do you have open? Seven. Seven. <laughs> I, 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 don't worry about it. I, 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 see, it's like cloning I see what could happen. It actually isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but Kinnon is. That's not seven. What are you talking about? Kinnon is seven. What are you talking about? The ability <laughs> is, is seven. You're going you're gonna to do the thing. and. Uh, oh, okay, fine. I don't know what instant speed is. That's <laughs> true. He doesn't. Okay. We've had this chat. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to Detroit past the turn after playing a Rejuvenating Sphinx. Detroit past the turn. I'm a little flooded for real this time. <laughs> <laughs> this deck runs 32 lands, so I don't oh, get wow, flooded. Oh, wow, really? Jesus. Yeah, because I don't want more than four. And you four have Four or five. Five seven. is the maximum. I Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Pass yeah. the turn. Thank you. I, I thought you couldn't count. So. <sighs> you can't do <laughs> splash. Uh, I can't um, do on your end step. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Yeah, on your end step. I got an effect. I'm going to Pongify the Renegade Leader. Destroy Where's target creature, it can't smart. be regenerated. That's a good play, actually. This controller makes a 3 3 green ape token. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Surprisingly, that was very good. Thank was, you. <laughs> I am from the apes. <laughs> you want? We are of the apes. You're to use your bougie one? Okay. This is not a very bougie token, but Whoa. it's because I give it to my opponent. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I wow. like the art on that one, dude. Mm -hmm. He is yeah. mid swing. And he's yeah. wearing a mid necklace. Leap. But that's kind of yeah. Yeah. Is he Gucci? 
It's a Gucci <laughs> necklace. Still no. super yes. low on the words. <laughs> now I've got I've got a little something for you though. What? How, read that parallel lives again for me. Oh, oh right. Oh yes. If right. an effect would put one or more tokens onto the battlefield right. under your control, it puts twice that many of those you tokens onto the battlefield. No. Oh, yeah. the I was so interested in the ape no. art oh, that I didn't even yeah. think about that. I'm yet. actually unprepared for this. I need an, another ape token. Uh. Unbelievable. They match. Yeah. Look at that, twinsies. They're probably from the same. So I mean, you got a lot for Your that mm. for that renegade leader for sure. Yeah, six power. Hmm. Still, not as much as she could have gotten. Still not too. <laughs> you're not too happy about it. Okay. I will choose chaos. Kind okay. of. <laughs> nice. We like chaos. Okay. Tap a forest. And a swamp for an assassin's trophy oh. targeting your angel of serenity. Targeting my angel of serenity. And that reads destroy target permanent, permanent. and opponent oh, controls. That could have just gone right to the And then spirit. I search my library for uh, its controller may search the library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle the library. Yes, that happens. Um, so that Coma a, that was returns, <laughs> and you get a Wirewood Channeler that's summoning sick. Yeah. And I will search my library for an island. <laughs> if it destroys permanent, we could also just kill the Teferi. Why are you I worried? Like I, why does yeah, everybody I hate I Teferi? All it's doing is drawing some cards. Just let you keep counter spells up, draws, you're drawing two cards a turn. We're all drawing maybe one. You're the one who's... half a card. Look, I know, I've been in your spot. Mega jealous of card draw. Yeah. I get it. I, I get, get it. it. Too. He's jealous of my card draw. He knows my card drawing skills are superior to his. <laughs> it's not that they're superior, it's just that they are better in the moment. And I worry that if he draws too many cards, it will be an insurmountable advantage. I have seen this before in my backstory. Blake doesn't know I need these cards to survive, to help all of us fight the greater evil that has Shay and a million elf creatures. And to it. <laughs> Shay might be the biggest bad of all, but we must defeat the boss in front of us. Which is coma, actually. And also <laughs> coma. <laughs> and also coma. Yeah. Oh, we'll see if I We may have an all anime commander <laughs> show. Going to combat. I'm gonna send Lathril to Blake. Yep. I'm gonna send two apes and all of my elves at Tefiri. Whoa, whoa. That's a lot. Would you like to tap anything down before blockers? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's it for attacks? Yeah. So, Night of the White Orchid and a Beast will block 1-1 one, one elves. And Yorian will block a 3 3 ape, and Teferi will eat the rest. Okay, so I lost two elves and. Two elves, one ape. Yep. And then you make three more elves. Three untapped elves. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down to one, and then. God, everyone's such a threat right now. <laughs> I'm so scared of everybody. I don't know if she got rid of the bougie token and not the. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Gucci token. <laughs> right, yeah. Gucci versus Gucci. <laughs> the eternal struggle. <laughs> Whoo! Okay. You make six elves. Because of parallel lives instead of three. Oh, yeah. Sure do. Thanks. Wow. Excellent. Pass on the turn. All right. I'm going to, on your end step, cast Brainstorm. Make Blake jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always the bride's card drawer and ever the... Bride's car, car Don't car try. Made? Don't try. You're too distraught. <laughs> lost it. You're I too distraught. I can't make funny jokes when someone's drawn more cards than me, guys. That's the real, <laughs> real tragedy. All right. I'm going to put these two back. Then I'm going to make him more jealous by casting Mystical Tutor. Come on! <laughs> and shuffling that away <laughs> for the a perfect brainstorm. brainstorm. shuffle? Yeah. Yeah. Search oh. my library for an instant or sorcery card. Put on top of my library. Mm. Or maybe sword. Mm. Library. Mm -hmm. I'm going to search for Fractured Identity. Exile target non-land permanent. Each player, other than its controller, creates a token oh, that's a copy of it. Oh, Is this game about to be the most insane game of all time? Oh, God. 
<laughs> what? You think you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Fatten the deer kraken will be ours. No, no. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, one, no one wants the Coma deer coils. kraken. I like oh, tentacles. We'll put that on top. <laughs> All right, my turn. Shay's an agent of chaos, but CGB <laughs> is chaos incarnate. I will take Half one. Light. 39 more turns, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Here's the thing. I thought most of it through. Then I remembered Shay has parallel lives with her oh, copy God. of Coma. <laughs> that might come back it to bite us. could be a guy. problem. <laughs> to be fair, I might be able to just kill her next turn. So What? Really? Yeah. I mean, even if she has Coma with two tokens and two tokens again? I mean, I guess yes. you can't tap that. Yep. I could, though. But you'd have to be able to make I it could. unblockable. Oh, no, I can. It's got Shroud. How would he make it unblockable? Hmm. Sus. Something that gives all creatures he controls unblockability until the turn. Such cards exist. Could be possible. But his has Shroud. Well, I would need a creature to equip right. Lightning Greaves and to draw a good card. So it's right. not super likely, <laughs> it's not but it's super. possible. But it's possible. A lot of things need to go my way. <laughs> I need this card to not be terrible. So it's just a land. <laughs> Your intent has been noted, Blake. I'm just saying. You think that's a you think that's a real possibility, huh? No, not really. No? <laughs> no. Wait, you're kidding? He just has a lot of. Dude, I'm like I was so starting many to... steps okay. away. No, All right, no, no. I'm, I'm a lot of steps away, unfortunately. Well, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cast Teferi, Time Raveler, okay. which uh, people can only play cards at sorcery speed, except for me. And the plus one lets me cast sorceries at instant speed, and the minus three bounces a permanent, and I draw a card. Does the real behind the scenes here, I think he likes to play alternate language cards so that he has to keep saying what they do to make us all afraid. <laughs> I, sure. Um, like nobody knows what this does. Right. Yeah, right. All right. I'm going to plus it so I can play a sorcery at instant speed. Until your next turn. Until my next Come turn. On. Yeah, just some sorcery. I'm not sure which sorcery. Yeah. Some kind of a sorcery. Maybe a fractured identity. Oh, right. That's a sorcery. <laughs> you also forgot a coma coil trigger. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was even waiting for that. Thanks. I'm going to. Attack Shay in the air with Yorian. Yo. Four damage in the air. Okay, I will take four. Yorian! <laughs> For the fans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Ben, I'm curious what you're going to do. It's your turn. At your end step, I'm going to tap seven. Uh huh. And play Fate. Look at the, and activate Kinnon and look at you the You might five. not want to do this. Yeah? Well, I, I am. You might give us something pretty to fracturedly identity. I'm going to get Cultivator Colossus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And there's a battlefield. It's a trampler. Uh-huh. It's <laughs> <how we're indominous. laughs> equal to the number of lands I control. And whenever he enters the battlefield, you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield tapped. If you do, draw a card and repeat this process. Unfortunately, I do not have a land card oh. in my hand. Oh, okay. And uh, it's still also, a big thing. I'm going to go to my turn. Uh, upkeep, did you make a coil? I did not, thank you. Okay. I really am bad at that. I don't think you've made one. <laughs> I made the on first time. one on time. The so you have one, one summoning sick coil. I do, yes. Because this could get this turn could get hairy. Yeah. Um, let's see. I will tap one to make another tentacle and put a one on the counter on him from the draw. I mean, if I don't swing, I'm kind of not doing my deck's job. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'll swing six at Blake, and then. <laughs> And then 12. Uh, one of those was something. Yes, I know. Put, so there's three here. We'll get the most pathetic Coma's coil you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> now that's Gucci. That, that <laughs> is supreme. And will. then 12 coming at Shay. Are you blocking Shay? Um. <clears throat> 
so the 12 that's coming at me is? It's uh, four three threes on the ground. Four three threes. Yeah. Three are coma coils on the beast if you want to try to kill the coils. Yeah. I'm going to block um, with two elves. Um, so then I will take six. Right. Okay. That will go to four. I'll take six. And I will also take six. And my second main, I'm going to tap seven. Uh, just like Spin green. the wheel. Nope, not doing that, actually. <laughs> I'm going to play Tromacratus. Tromacratus. What? <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to read that one? Yeah, it uh, has hexproof unless it's attacking or blocking. It can't be blocked unless all creatures defending player controls block it. And it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Mm. It is an 8-8 eight, you, eight, eight, you released the Kraken. I released the Kraken. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh my lord. And then I will pass. If only that parallel lives, man. <laughs> that parallel lives I is can, a real problem. I can two turn Shay for sure. Yeah, but... But that's the problem, is that's not mm. enough. Okay. As long as I get any creature, I can two turn. Uh, on... On Ben's end step, okay. we're going to cast Fractured Identity targeting Coma. Oh my oh goodness man. gracious, this is sick. So everybody gets a Coma we copy. We get a Coma. I didn't Mine gets it. exiled. Yours gets exiled. I'll take it, actually. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can just take that one. Now, Shay, you get two Comas, but they legend rule. What would you, which oh, one would you right. like to keep, Shay? So you keep that one. one. That one. Yeah. All right, Shay, <laughs> yeah. it's still Ben's end step. Oh. I am going to place Evoke Solitude. This is a flash 3-2 lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power. Evoke, exile a white card from your hand. I'm going to exile this Sun Titan, Ooh. and I'm going to exile your coma. You gain six life, and Solitude goes to the graveyard. So um, I'm done with Ben's end step, and there's still a Teferi, so I assume that means he's done. Cool. All right. Yeah. All I right. Too am that done. would mean I'm done. Okay, coil time on, on your upkeep, uh, Blake. I didn't bring any tokens. This deck didn't play tokens. May I borrow, a, like, a tentacle? I like tentacles. No, you get... Come on. You get this tentacle? one. Tentacle? I even brought a foil coma <laughs> coil for this very moment. Wow. It's the last coma one Coma foil? Have, <laughs> no. <laughs> I put faith in you, Blake. Come on. <laughs> All right. I will draw for turn. Wait, can I kill her right here? Can you? Oh, oh, man. I think I can put her at 20 commander damage. Dude, why do you guys think this is uh, Elves are scary, and there's a I lot mean, of them. She has oh, a lot you of have a high. coma now. She has a lot so. of ways to make them big. But, yeah, well, but coma's not very good against an insurmountable token well, army. Fair. I will move to equip lightning greaves onto coma. I mean, I'm also, I mean, Ben has big, like, everybody's a threat. Let's, let's be now real. I yeah, am. Now Everybody's everyone. a threat. Now I've got a coma. It took me getting a coma <laughs> to give me a threat. I can't put her at 20 commander, but I can get her pretty low. I'll tap five mana to play Drake Umbra on Rafik of the Many. This gives plus three, plus three, and flying with totem armor. I will then re equip lightning groups. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, These boots were made uh, for uh, swinging. Um, just to be clear, you're yeah. not coming at me. No, certainly not. Okay. That'd be messed up. Okay, resolves. <laughs> Alright, I will move to combat. I will attack... Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Six... <laughs> seven, eight. Becoming an eight, eight off of the um, exalted triggers. So it is an eight, eight double striker flying coming at you, Shay. Wow. No blocks. Then I will draw two cards off Curiosity. Mm. Detroit mm. Smash! <laughs> How's your ears? Oh, How are your ears? <laughs> <laughs> I, I regret buying these microphones. <laughs> I want to know, did you make the play just so you could say that? You needed a moment that was good enough for the Detroit Smash. You know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take 16. And I will draw two cards. Uh, uh, I will then pass my turn. The elves are very unhappy with you, Blake. Detroit smash. Uh, that might be a lot of attackers. 
Yeah, yeah we're all scared. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'll make a coal like coil and upkeep. Ben. Yeah. I mean, there what is a lot of beef. Yeah, there's a lot of beef around there's here. There's a lot of beef. But I'm not attacking anyone but Shay, so. I'm feeling weird. I haven't cast a board wipe in my blue white deck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not I've, I've been making tokens for other people. <laughs> True. I'm going to tap this for mana equal to the number of elves I control. So, um, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. That's, that's green mana. <laughs> I'm, sure yes, green I'm sure this is fine. Yes, green mana. I'm sure this is fine. I'll use one to equip the skull clamp to a token. I'm going to just bring this down to three. And token dies. I'll I will tap down your skull clamp. In response to the to death trigger? The death trigger. Yep. Well, the, de the draw trigger. Death trigger state based effect. Okay. But that's rules minutia. That's okay. Not quite what I Opa. wanted, but still okay. For those of you at home, normally tapping equipment doesn't do anything, but because it loses its activated abilities, it can't equip anymore. Okay, then I'm going to use four, so going down to nine mana here. Do you agree with that plan? I, th I just don't think letting her draw that many cards with yeah, she could that draw, kind of mana. She could draw most of her deck. Yeah. So using four mana to cast Natural Order. Let's see. I will sacrifice an elf warrior as an additional cost to cast the spell. Uh huh. Search your library for a green creature card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. Oh, hello. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So I have grabbed good. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh huh. <laughs> and also. Oh no. No way. What? I'm going to use. So, um, so. If she has like Triumph of the Hordes, that, I know. that's what I call. So I'll go down to five mana here for a Triumph oh of the Hordes. Oh my god. <laughs> and that does? <laughs> Until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and game trample and infect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, you had it. <laughs> what a hand. Yeah, <laughs> geez, from jail. Oh Does anybody God. have a way to get me one mana or untap a land I control? Nope. No, I can't. Because <laughs> I have a cryptic command and three mana. <laughs> oh, no. What does a cryptic command do? No, nope. it? Uh, it would uh, tap, tap all creatures. Yeah. Tap all creatures oh, she controls. And you, it's four mana. It's four oh. mana. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm um, out of mana. I mean, I have a creature in my hand. So, so all your creatures have plus 14, plus 14, yep. then an additional plus 1, plus 1. So plus 15, plus yep. 15. They all have Infect. They and all have Trample. trample. If any of these hit us once, and the total creature count on the board is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like, if any of them hits us once, we're dead. Like, there is no way we survive unless you want Even someone to survive. Blocker. So yeah. who are you attacking? We could tap things with coils, but there's no point. Okay. So the only question is, who are you attacking? Are you killing all of us I mean, or she some could just of end us? The game. She should... Yeah, I mean, I think I would like to attack everybody. I'm gonna go for the ruthless, dark elf move. Okay, but but who gets attacked by more things? Yeah, <laughs> you only need three to kill me because I have total. That's what's important now. Like, who are you going to overkill? Who gets what? Who who gets the treatment? Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I get killed by my own? She looked ape? right at me. Killed <laughs> yeah, okay. by your own infected. Uh, <sighs> or okay. do you want to attack Teferi? <laughs> <laughs> I'll add Teferi. Yeah. Teferi is so poisoned. I'll take one for the team there. Okay. If three is enough, I will send three to you. I mean, just just send it all. <laughs> just send everything you have I at somebody. Send, um, okay. Enough to kill everybody, but the majority to um, to Blake. Oh <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, so I will just accept the bare minimum of damage. So uh, here, send my own ape at me. Mm -hmm. um, I would love the honor of the crater hoof itself. Yes. I think I deserve it. Of course. And uh, this beautiful <laughs> elf can come at me too. Beautiful. And then um, six elves. In. <laughs> that is. And the last. What elf. is that? Two hundred. <laughs> plus fifteen. It's plus fifteen. Plus fifteen. Uh, okay. Six of them. Yeah. Six times six. Come on, math guy. Ninety-six. Just there. Ninety-six. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll block with coma. 
So uh, <laughs> what is it that they say? Plus? Plus Ultra! <laughs> but I did not go plus Ultra. Yeah. That was a sad way. But the elves did. You got us, Shay. You got us. You got us. GG. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the worst possible happened. Yeah, that was something. I, I, I expected the worst possible to be one of these things. You didn't tell us you were just going to do all the above. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was yeah. a gross hand. When, when, you said, when you said, and I'll also play, I'm like, no way. No way is it Triumph. I, I have well. believed I've had that was a man for short. so long. I have had Triumph for so long. Really? But I wanted to wait until it um. was like, <laughs> until I got the thing to tutor out the crater hoop. I can't wow. believe... So when did so you get the natural? I was going to just hold this up that the That was time. on... Mm. Your last turn or something? No, that was on this turn before. Okay, yeah. so you ripped it. Gotcha. Yep. Right? Hell okay. yeah. That was sick. Wow. What a way to go. Oh, congrats, Shay. GG, Shay. We're, we're almost moving in perfect harmony because you won, then I won, then Blake won, then Ben won, and now it's back to Shay. So There's a conspiracy here. I feel <laughs> like <laughs> next week's my week. Um, hmm. Cards of the game. I am going with Fractured Identity, because this is one of my favorite cards to play in the Yorian deck. Um, it seems like there's always that permanent, that if you Fractured Identity it, it just, like, the whole table goes, so whoa, yeah. <laughs> right? We've, we've gotten to do this so a lot of times. times. Hole Breaker it, Horrors have been Fractured Identity. Hole Breaker Horrors have been Fractured, yep. Um, I think Cage Sun was oh, yeah. Fractured. No. Yep. Uh, I, it, it's hard to remember all the, Jinga Taxis, oh, the 10 mana one 10 man was Fractured. One, yeah. yeah, and today we got to Fracture Coma. So this, this card is just always doing some true chaos at the table. But I'm very, like... I'm kind of mad that I made the play the way that I did because if I was thinking about holding off on it, you know, and letting it go a turn cycle and holding up cryptic, because what was in my hand, what was in my head yeah. was was crater hoof. <laughs> no, it, I know. And yeah. I decided to go for it because I thought there was a good chance you could kill her. <laughs> and you you failed this city. I told you. <laughs> you did. You hey, said I never lied about what I could do. You said you had about twenty. And I went for it on his end step, yeah. hoping you could find the additional one. If I ripped one. a land or something, yeah. there was a If chance. you could find the additional one, yeah. you're there. But that's, all right. that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Whew. Uh, ben, I think I know your card of the game, yeah. but let's do it. Even though it didn't do much and people, everyone had some kind of coma for some amount of time, it was coma's. I would, co Cosmos or I would Didn't say the much? game re revolved around this card for oh, a good yeah, period of time. Fair, yeah. Fair, yeah. Oh yeah, we had to, like the Angel of Serenity, when to yeah. kill it, um, having to use the Solitude to exile hers and like setting all that up. Yeah. It was very, it was, the game definitely revolved around Coma Every, from the time it arrived. Everyone wanted Coma like Gollum wanted the ring. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Ring, of course. Oh yeah. Our precious, our precious. What a yeah, snake. Yes, yes. Well, guys, sometimes the villain will prevail. That's okay, though. Uh, today, my card of the game was Lightning Greaves because it was really, really annoying. <laughs> uh, you, it was, I, I almost hated pointing it out. Almost. It, it makes sense. I but almost you know hated what? pointing it out. Now, guys, you can remove the, the villain as hero and just call me the hero this game. <laughs> That's all that matters. I get to be the hero. Mm. Shay. The person with unquestionably the record for most damage dealt on the show. Yes. Yeah. Just always taking it to the next level. I think you could kill it like you would have killed a, a table of 30 people. <laughs> with yeah, that play. So, uh, card of the game. Um, yeah, I think I got to give it to Triumph of the Hordes for being the, the finisher, the cherry on top. Um, it, it did what I could have only dreamed um, in this game. So, yes. Got to give it to Triumph of the Hordes. All right, excellent. Well, guys, another worst possible with an actual, actual worst, worst possible. actual worst possible. Yeah. Awesome to see. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to leave a comment. Shay will be selecting the comment that she likes the best to win a $50 gift code to CoolStuffInc.com, who is also our sponsor, so a big thank you to them. Thank you for watching this video. As always, we will see you in the next video. You're cool.